Well, in June, Durham police responded to a call of more than 200 dirt bikes in the area of Garrett and Hope Valley Roads. That led to two arrests. CBS 17's Ben Boken is digging deeper into the issue after speaking with downtown businesses about the impact. Back in early June, Durham police responded to a call of more than 200 dirt bikes in the area of Garrett and Hope Valley Roads. That incident led to two arrests. Ryan Birch works at multiple restaurants downtown and says he's seen a number of dirt bike riders disobeying traffic laws. It was bad for a while and I was just really worried about the safety of the drivers, the bicyclists and the people on the sidewalk. Durham police announced that officers arrested or cited four additional riders. This comes after DPD said it would crack down on illegal dirt bike and ATV operators earlier in the summer. Employees at businesses here on West Main Street tell me they're seeing less and less dirt bikes operating illegally on city roads. I haven't really noticed it. I'm down here. Like I said, I'm down here every day. Police say dirt bikes must abide by the same laws applicable to motorcycles for those vehicles to be street legal. Pluto Olmeda also works at a restaurant on West Main and lives just minutes away at a downtown apartment complex. It affecting business as well because we do patio seating, so um, it's definitely calmed down a lot, which I'm very grateful for. DPD created a multi-jurisdictional task force to target the crimes, something Olmeda believes is helping. I haven't seen them as much lately, so it's definitely been a a transitional period for how much it has been bothering me as someone who lives and works downtown. Back in June, Durham Police Chief Patrice Andrews released a statement on the issue saying in part, it is disheartening that my officers and officers from other jurisdictions now have to divide efforts between addressing this behavior and addressing violent crime in our community. I want people to be able to have their fun and enjoy themselves, but you know, you also have to be careful and be safe and think of other people. In Durham, Ben Boken, CBS 17 News.